Being named uh, a Richmond history maker means a lot. It, it's being recognized for the community where we are. When you look at people uh, who are doing good things in their community or elsewhere, a lot of times it's your own backyard where people don't recognize you. We are a nonprofit and we are centered on making sure that every child in Virginia has access to real, meaningful computer science education. We do that in sort of three silos. We work on advocacy, which is kind of mostly what Chris does. Um, I'm in charge of all of the teacher training and then we also do direct student programming through summer camps and after school programs. I think one of the neatest things that we've done is we've put computer science on the map in Virginia. Um, we've trained uh, closing in on or a little bit more now I think than 600 teachers over the last three years um, from kindergarten all the way through high school we have managed to get computer science in some fashion into about 50% of school districts in the state um, and then that leads to the next thing that we've managed which is we got legislation through this year that will put it in front of 1.3 million kids every kid in Virginia is now mandated as part of the state standards of learning to get computer science from kindergarten through 12th grade. We're the first state in the country to have that happen. So one of the things we've really found that I think has been unexpected as we've really worked uh, with localities across the state is how many opportunities there are for people to be involved. One of the simplest things people can do is just to ask questions within their local school district. Is this available? Are students being taught this? And I think going a step beyond that and making sure they're also asking which students are being taught this information. So just really making sure that they are advocates within their own community to make sure students have equal opportunity in terms of learning all of this material. And I think something a lot of people are surprised to know is Virginia actually has the highest concentration of computer science jobs in the country. What that means is if we don't do this, um, those jobs are going to go somewhere. This is the digital dominion, and this is the heart of um, what is happening in computer science and banking, in software development, in insurance, insurance yeah, uh, in government, um, in everything. All of these things, it's here right now. Uh, we need to make sure that Virginia stays the center of that.